guys hey it's me your girl g and i am here with another one okay so y'all today i'm so excited first of all let's get into the whole fall scene okay let me go ahead on and give y'all that y'all gonna see this on my fall shop with me but i just wanted to show y'all i love different texture pumpkins okay <laughs> get into it i love 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 that and then you know i'm a i have a thing for mugs um and coffee and tea y'all know that right so when i saw this candle it was perfect for me it says cuddle cuddle weather and it has i don't want to burn myself <laughs> and it has a candle on the inside and so if y'all don't know i have a thing for candles so that right there mm -hmm. so tell me how y'all like my whole fall get up are y'all ready for fall first of all are y'all ready for fall ready or not here it comes <laughs> So, y'all, today, as y'all know, we are doing a bill condensing. I'm to that point where it's time to condense some of these bills because sometimes I be having too much money in my safe. And so, I don't like that. So, let's, you know, get this money out of here, put it in the Ohio Savings account so it can gain some entrance and, you know, all the things. But, first of all, before I start that, where's my manders? If you are new here, welcome. It's your girl G with the gym. And over here on my channel, we talk all things, everything. We talk about home buying. We talk about credit repair, budgeting, saving, cash stuff, and any and everything that can change your life. We discuss it here over on this channel. So if that's content that you like, make sure that you smash the subscribe button. Join this family so you don't miss out on anything, okay? And if you are a new subby, let me know down in the comments that you're a new subby. I love engaging with all my subbies. I love talking to each and every one of y'all. I feel like this is a family over here. We are not just social media friends, okay? Okay. <laughs> all right, y'all. So we're going to get into it. Let me get my stuff together. And for my, for my down home, I'm talking about my people who've been here Hey, y'all. I miss y'all. I love y'all so much. How was y'all weekend? Let me know what y'all did for the weekend. Let me know what plans you had, the things you did, because I know y'all be getting around. <laughs> so let me know. This here is my prop money for the new people that's here. So basically what we do in the budgeting and cash stuffing community, we take the big numbers out of our binders so we won't have as much money in our house. But we also keep prop money in place in the envelopes so that you know what envelope has what. For me, I have, well, actually I have two Ohio savings account now, but majority of my money is in my one big Ohio savings account. So I need to know what money is for what uh, before my Raji, which is my son, thank all the money for him, <laughs> right? So that's what I, that's why, that's why we do the whole um, prop money situation okay <laughs> okay so let's get into this binder this here is my savings binder and this binder needs some condensing so we gonna go ahead on and condense raji's envelope raji is my son for those who don't know so we're gonna put the prop money there let's see 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 <coughs> I feel like I counted that all wrong, so let me try that again. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40. Okay, so we're going to take 40 out. Put that there. What did I say? 200, right? Ooh, 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 God, dog it. <laughs> I'm wrong for that, y'all. I didn't throw it all the way across the desk. So $200 is going in here. All right, and it makes it easier to count too because I be having all that money and I be up in here messing up. Y'all be over there laughing and talking about me. <laughs> all right, four Rajis. Envelope, he has 1,000, 2,000, 100, 200, 300, 400 in the bank, 2040. So $2,440 for Raji's envelope. And let's see what y'all friend Kanye has. Nope, this is not Kanye. This is college. <laughs> okay, so we have 5000 in their college expenses. Y'all know we have two boys that's on their way to college. So we just had, need money for those expenses. So we saving for them right now, like right now. <laughs> so 5000 20 40 60 80 100 
and I'm messing up already. 20, 40, 45, 50. Okay, so 5,120, 40, 45, 50. So 5,150 for the college expense envelope. But I know that I'm going to need the same thing that I needed for Raji. So I need to go and get me some more right here. Okay. <laughs> So, because I know emergency has nothing, but the 10K challenge needs to be condensed. So, let's go ahead on and condense it, okay? So, now in the 10K challenge, it has 5,000. No, I'm wrong. Take this out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. Girl, what am I doing? Okay, 5,000, 6,000, 100, 200. 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1,000. Okay, so we have 5,000, 6,000, so we need another placeholder for 1,000, right, y'all? Hold on. <laughs> Let me see, because, <clears throat> pull me. Okay, one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95. Okay, listen, because I'm listening, and I'm not going to edit it out because I want y'all to see this how I be, for real, in real life. <laughs> Matt and y'all, I had a B in Matt. I passed college algebra with an A. I don't know why I don't know how to count. <laughs> Okay, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1,000. Girl, what are you doing? You over here just <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put these two to the side because I know I need those. Let me know. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Right here. It's going right there. All right, ooh, y'all talk about me. Just go ahead and talk about me because I'm just raggedy up in here acting like I have, I need special help or something. <laughs> okay, so we are to 1,000 in the 10K challenge. So now in the 10K challenge, look what we got. We have 7,000 smackaroos. For the 10K challenge, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm so ecstatic about this. I told y'all last year I did the 10K challenge. And the year before last. The year before last totally flopped. <laughs> but last year I was able to save the $10,000. And that's what I put down on my home, y'all. Sure did. All right. For Kanye. Kanye. Wait. Oh, yeah. Kanye. One, two. Wait. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40. So, boom, right there. Here's y'all 200. Don't talk about me. We friends. We family. We not even friends. We family. Don't do me that. <laughs> All right, now for Kanye. Kanye has 1,000, 2,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40. So, 2,000. 440 for y'all fave Kanye as well. All right, so this here is as condensed as it can be. Look at that. Yep. 10K. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we're going to take this. And let me see if I can do anything with... Let me see if I can do anything with our... Okay, let's see. Because I really spin out of here, so I really don't like to put prop money in here. But, hmm. Let's just see. Should I? 24. No. Because I'm going to get my nails done and my feet done. So, this here is coming. And I don't get it done at the same place. So, that's coming out of there. Let's see what this has. Two. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 
10, one 10. Okay, so we could do this. We can put 100 in there because I don't have any more prop 100. So anniversary is just gonna keep that 100 until I get some more prop money for here. That's not gonna hurt, right? Just having a hundred dollars in there, cause yeah. <laughs> All right, vacation. I'll do vacation, but I'm not gonna do it with prop money, of course, um, because vacation is going into an account to pay. I have to give it to my niece. She's gonna pay it towards our cruise. I told y'all that's why I was saving this money. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So yeah. So that's what this is for. And 500 is not the amount. I'm just giving it to her now so she can put it towards that because I don't want it to just be sitting in a binder. You know, all willy-nilly. Christmas, home needs. I can condense this, but I'm about to go to the store right now, but I still can condense it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So let's take two fives out, two cute fives. And 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, so we're going to put two 40s. Why did I say two cute 40s? Like, it's going to do something. Because <laughs> it's not. This is about to go. It's about to go. So let's put that in there. Home needs. Car needs. School. Of course, that's nothing because I'm really stuffing literally nothing. But look at that. All right, that's it, y'all. That's all I have for y'all. Let's see how much we are putting back into the Ohio Savings account. Um, Because, yeah, we done. I like that. I love, because this is a lot of money to just be sitting in the binders. I used to, like, keep all the money at one time in the binders. But it was like, why? Like, why are you keeping all that money in the binders when it can be in a high savings account collecting interest? So at first I would do every 500 denomination, but then I was like, no, let's do every 100 denomination because it builds interest anyway. Even if it's $100, I don't care. I need whatever money I can get on my money. So I have two high savings account, like I told y'all, and basically, you get money for having your money in a savings account. So if you have a savings account and you're not making money um, from it, switch your bank. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> switch your bank because they have so many good banks out here that's giving like almost 5% um, in entrance. So yeah, do that. Why not? So let's see how much we bring in. Back to the bank. One, two, three. 20, 5, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 5, 1,000. Wait. Wait, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Y'all. That was right, huh? Was I right? This was 1,000. Sure was. So, right. You see what I'm saying? So, $1,300 is going back to the bank. Just like that. Listen, that's entrance. So that money will be in the bank all of September and I'll get paid for it October 1st. That's what I mean by doing smart. This here is spending smart because I'm not doing nothing but the money is making money. See? And that ain't the only thing that's in there, but I'm just saying. You get what I'm saying? Instead of just having all of it in a binder. I want to do one thing before I let y'all go because I know it's Monday. I know a lot of people is just not for it. I wanted to share with y'all my morning devotional that I um that I read this morning. And I was like, you know what? Let me share that with my friends. Because we friends over here. So this here morning devotional is Be Still and Know. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has so many good devotions. I know we kind of just go to decorations at Hobby Lobby. But y'all, go try this. <laughs> All right. So it says, bad news. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. 
in this age of technology, we can be in inundated with happenings from around the world. News is always at our fingertips and often it's not good. Sometimes we are waiting for the personal, life-changing kind of news. The medical report, the upshot of the interview, the test score. Our fear is that the result will not be what we hope. Psalms 112 tells us that we do not have to fear bad news. If our hearts are righteous, we are steadfast and secure. In spite of any alarming information coming our way, we can be at peace because we are safe and in God's hands. I am so thankful, Lord, that even though bad news assaults and sometimes awaits, I do not need to fear even the scariest of prospects. I am safe and secure in you, no matter the situation. Y'all, when I read that, I was like, oh, I got to share this with somebody. And normally I'll just upload it on social media. But I was like, man, I'm sharing it with my people because they always tuning in. They always watching me. We always having fun over here on this channel. And listen, just like the word says, do not be afraid of bad news. Whatever answer that you're looking for, whatever answer that you're waiting for, be confident in it. Do not be afraid. And just know that it's all a part of God's plan and it's all a part of his timing. I promise y'all, I can attest for that because for a long time, I waited and waited and waited to purchase my home. That was just it. Like that was one of the main goals that my life held, right? And I kept getting knocked down. I kept getting knocked down. And y'all, I promise, like I said, in God's timing, I literally was in a depressed state in my mental because of my home. And it was just one day he just, I woke up and it was just like, I got a feeling of just going look at a house. Y'all, the house that I looked at, the time that I looked at it, it was perfect. It was all a part of his plan. So don't be down. Don't be in this. Don't be in sorrow and just know it will happen in all its timing. And it's not just about homes. It's about your health. If it's about buying a home, if it's about your business, if any and everything that you are afraid of or you are scared of or you don't want to hear the bad news, just know the bad news is a part of his timing and you never know what he has in store for you, okay? All right, I love y'all so much, and y'all know I was going to give y'all something on this Motivational Monday. Listen, go smash this week and make sure that you join me on Wednesday for a brand new video. Y'all, it's September. I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. I love y'all so much, and I thank y'all for tuning in all the time. And wait, before I go, happy Labor Day. It's Labor Day. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, until next time, guess what? If you have not and you are still here, leave me some pink hearts in the comment. Girl, my nails look bad. I'm going to get them done tomorrow, Wednesday. Y'all will see the new nails because what is this? What is this? <laughs> Go ahead and get my fall nails on. But if you are new here, make sure that you subscribe. Join the family. Let me know in the comments that you are a new subby. I love y'all so much. And until next time, bye, guys.